Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today to hear all about our new and exciting 2017 packages and our early booking discounts that are now available here with Amtrak Vacation. I want to go ahead and introduce myself as your webinar host. I am Jackie Malecki, and I do have a special guest speaker who I'll introduce in a little bit who's here to talk all about our new packages. But I'm also excited because I'll be giving away a $100 Amtrak Vacations gift certificate to one lucky attendee at the end of the presentation. But let's get right to it. So why should you travel with Amtrak Vacations? Well, first of all, it's a bucket list experience to travel by train. You're going to see some beautiful sights in parts of the country you would never see by flying or driving. There's room to roam on board the train. You're not stuck in your seat like you are in a car or on an airplane. You can get up, stretch your legs, walk around, maybe go to the observation car, take in all those beautiful sights. It's less hassle when you book with us because we take care of everything for you. We're booking not just your train, but also your hotel accommodations, sightseeing tours and attractions, and the different destinations and cities that you're traveling to. The train has city-to-city -city service. What I mean by this is the train will pick you up right in the heart of one city and bring you right to the next, right to downtown, city center. You can satisfy your hunger on board the train. On all the long distance trains, there's a chef that's preparing the meals for you there. And in all the trains, they also have a snack car if you just want to grab a quick bite. And we also have a lot of flexibility with our packages. Most of them have daily departures, but we can also customize anything to make the perfect vacation package for you. Now, I always love showing this map of the Amtrak route system because a lot of people don't realize the extent that Amtrak travels to and all the possibilities that you have for your next vacation. A little fun fact I would love to share too is last year, 31.2 million people traveled on Amtrak. And that's people coming from all over the U.S. and all over the world, really, that all just want to enjoy a nice and relaxing scenic train trip. But one thing I do want you to keep in mind while we go through these packages in just a minute is how you can get to the start of it. We can certainly add the train from your hometown or local Amtrak station to take you to the starting city of the package. You can train city to city, and then we'll add the train taking you back home. But you also have the option to fly to the start, train city to city, and then fly home at the end. So it all depends on where you're looking to travel to, how much time you have for your vacation, and how long you want to be on the train for. Now with Amtrak Vacations, we do have a few different types of products. So I just want to explain the different ones real quick before we show you some examples. We have our escorted rail journey. So you're traveling in a small group. There's a tour guide that's with you for the duration of the trip. It's all inclusive of guided sightseeing tours and all the destinations. A lot of the meals are included in those packages. The majority of what we do, though, is independent rail travel. So we have our independent rail journey. They're multi-city trips. Of course, you're taking the train city to city. We include your train, hotels, sightseeing tours. But you have more freedom and flexibility on what you're doing throughout the day there. Family Adventures, which is great for multi-generational travelers. We have our rail and sail program. You don't just have to fly to your departure port city. You can take a nice scenic train ride, maybe to Seattle before an Alaska cruise. We have our rail getaways, single city trips. We add that Amtrak train from your local station. And of course, we have our packages going out to our beautiful national park. But now it is my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker today, our Director of Product, Andrew Channel. Thank you, Jackie, for that introduction. And thank you to all of you today for taking a little time to spend a few moments with us and learn about some of the great and exciting Amtrak Vacations packages that we have available for all of you for travel in 2017. Before I begin going through some of the details of some of our great 2017 product offerings, I always like to take a moment to reflect on what it is that makes an Amtrak vacation so special. Uh, Jackie did a great job of highlighting some of the benefits, less hassle, city-to-city -city service, room to roam. But really, overall, what it comes down to is for an Amtrak vacation, 
the benefit is understanding that the journey is the thing. That the journey should be just as much an enjoyable part of the trip as the destinations you're traveling to. I think for so many of us who've driven to vacations or flown to vacations, I've come to realize that travel can sometimes be really stressful. And just getting to the places we want to see and explore can involve standing in line forever with security or then being crammed into a small, small seat in an airplane with terrible food just to arrive at the destination you were hoping to explore, exhausted, wiped out, and not really enjoying yourself right from the very beginning of your trip. Well, an Amtrak vacation is a totally different experience. It's a really comfortable and relaxing way to travel. The journey itself involves some amazing and breathtaking scenery, as you can see in the image before you. And really, an Amtrak traveler comes to understand that from the very start to the very end of their trip, our packages are going to be absolute enjoyment for you. So with no, nothing further said on that point, let's talk about some really exciting itineraries that we have for an offer in 2017. Some are returning favorites, some that are brand new itineraries only available this year for you to take part in. So the first itinerary I'm going to discuss is our Northern National Parks Escorted. For anyone on the call today who spent time on escorted or group travel journeys, this is definitely a good itinerary for you. If you're fond of that form of travel, you like the fact that our Northern National Parks Escorted, of course, includes the service versus of a tour manager who's there conducting your small intimate group around all the destinations involved and on the train. They're basically like a personal concierge for the group, managing all the little details of the trip, the luggage, the check-ins, and all the things you otherwise would be handling on your own, and really freeing the traveler to just enjoy the experience and the destinations involved with very, very little hassle on their side. So a fun way to travel. Northern National Parks Escorted begins in Seattle. Now one important point, just to refer back to something Jackie had said, Really, the itinerary begins in Seattle, but in truth, it can begin from anywhere on the Amtrak system. So if you want to customize travel to or from your local Amtrak station, we can certainly add that to the beginning and end of this itinerary to get you there and back again. Of course, if you prefer to book your flights and fly in or out of the itinerary, that's possible too. But again, we can certainly help to make this as convenient as possible for you. So I mentioned your journey begins in Seattle. You'll head over to your hotel, meet your tour manager, get checked in. You have one night there and a chance to spend some time exploring and sightseeing in Seattle. It's a great urban destination. You'll spend some time by the waterfront, hit Pipes Market, maybe watch those famous vendors throw in the fish or sample some local delicacies. And after a night of sightseeing and a day of sightseeing in Seattle, you board the train. You board Amtrak to head east to Glacier National Park. This is a beautiful train journey, folks. It travels overnight. For the escorted tours, you'll be in one of our levels of sleeping accommodation on this tour, and I'll mention those later on in some of the details. But you travel overnight through the northern Cascade Mountains. It's a beautiful journey. If it's a moonlit or starlit night, those snow-capped peaks light up beautifully. You'll really enjoy the journey itself. And you arrive the next day to Glacier National Park for a two-night stay. Glacier National Park is one of the most pristine stretches of wilderness in North America, folks. Beautiful snow-capped mountain peaks, rolling pine forests, clear mountain lakes, and a host of species of wildlife to be found all over. It's a beautiful destination. Your tour includes sightseeing to all the major routes and popular locations within Glacier National Park. So you'll ride along going to the Sun Road and hit places like Logan Pass, Maria Pass, Gold Lick, Lake McDonald Lodge. You really get a chance to experience everything the park has to offer. Keep your eyes out for that wildlife I had mentioned. Now from there, you'll continue overland. We're going to shuttle you over to your next national park, Yellowstone. Now, the thing that most people love about this itinerary is not just the escorted aspect of it or any one component, but the fact that you get to explore three great national parks. And on that list of three great national parks is Yellowstone. I've often referred to Yellowstone as sort of the gold standard of national parks because it includes every experience a traveler is generally looking for when they think of going to one of America's great national parks. So whether it's craggy mountain peaks or sprawling fields and grasslands or the numerous geothermal features like the hot springs and pools and, of course, the geysers like Old Faithful, or an abundance of wildlife. Yellowstone has buffalo, bear, ringhorn deer, wolves, and many, many more. So you can see Yellowstone really offers all those wonderful outdoor experiences you want in a national park. You'll stop in Yellowstone for a couple of evenings, do your sightseeing all around the park and take in those experiences I just mentioned. And after a full exploration of Yellowstone, your group will move on to Jackson Hole. Similar landscape to Yellowstone, while you're in Jacksonville, you're really there to experience Grand Teton National Park. 
and all of its outdoor expanses, its mountain ranges, wildlife, and natural landscapes. And after experiencing these three excellent national parks, the journey will continue on for two nights in Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City is a great place to wrap up the vacation, folks. You'll spend a couple evenings there. You'll explore the cities, beautiful destinations, landmarks, places like Temple Square, the Mormon Tabernacle. And the environment the city is located in is beautiful in and of itself. You can see the wonderful mountain ranges in this image that line the northern and eastern edges of the town. After your two nights stay there, folks, we'll either train you home if we've added that to your trip, or you can board your flight home, or continue in any way you see fit, hopefully having had a wonderful experience with your group. That's our Northern National Parks Escorted Itinerary, folks, a 10-day journey through three of the best national parks in America. Now, for those looking to experience national parks, but who prefer to travel more independently, we have a number of great itineraries. One of those returning from last year, but back again for 2017, was our ever-popular Glacier National Park Express itinerary. Glacier National Park Express journeys across the northern United States, taking in Glacier National Park, along with two great urban destinations, Chicago to begin and Seattle to end. So your itinerary will begin when you arrive in Chicago. You start with two nights in this beautiful city, and the Windy City has so much to offer as a destination whether it's spending time at the attractions at Navy Pier, or visiting world-class museums like the Field Museum at Shedd Aquarium, or doing some shopping on the Magnificent Mile. It's a destination that offers a very big and varied selection of travel opportunities. We do include a really fun experience for you. We have a sightseeing cruise that focuses on the architectural wonders of Chicago, and there are many, to include places like the John Hancock Tower, Sears Tower, and along the way, you experience all three branches of the Chicago River. It's a really, really unique way to look at this great destination, with plenty of free time for you to explore at your own pace. Now, after your two nights in Chicago, you board one of the most scenic train routes in America. You're going to board Amtrak's Empire Builder Route, which follows the northern arc of the United States. Departing from Chicago, you travel northwest across the northern plains with the lakes regions of Wisconsin and Minnesota, up into the northern plains and the badlands of the Dakotas, on into eastern Montana with the foothills and eventually the Rocky Mountains themselves as you arrive at the beautiful Glacier National Park. Now, I know you've had a chance to glimpse some of the beauty of Glacier National Park. You're going to get a chance to experience all of it on your three-night stay here. Now, one of the other things that's great about an Amtrak vacations journey to national parks, particularly Glacier National Parks, is the convenience. Amtrak is not only a really comfortable and relaxing way to get there, it also is probably the most convenient way to get to Glacier National Park. The Glacier National Park Lodge, where you stay for your visit here, featured in the bottom half of that image, is literally 209 steps from the train station. <laughs> so Amtrak gets off in the quaint, rustic train station they have there at Glacier. Your luggage is whisked over to the hotel. You can walk right over on the 209 steps to the front door and get checked into this beautiful lodge. While you're in Glacier on the Glacier Park Express, you experience the park in two ways. Big Sky Circle Tour travels through Glacier. And one of the red top jammer buses you see featured there in the upper half of that image with an expert guide, you follow some of those same locations I had mentioned before. Big Sky Circle goes through going to the Sun Road, the wonderful passes out by Lake McDonald, really takes in all the park, and the guides know a ton about the area. So they'll give you some background on not only the nature, the wildlife, the geology, but also some information on the native peoples of the area, the Blackfoot and Flathead tribes that once inhabited the, the valley and the regions around here. If the weather's nice, that roof on the bus opens right up and they let all that fresh mountain air in, so you're really taking it all in. And of course, plenty of opportunities along the way to stop, get out, photograph those points that really interest you, and just savor the experience of being in Glacier. The other half of your sightseeing is our Two Medicine Valley boat cruise, where you're transported from your hotel deep into the park to cruise on one of those clear, pristine mountain lakes. It's another really novel way to take in the landscape of Glacier, and probably the single easiest way to spot wildlife, as is frequently seen grazing and watering along the shores of the lake. To spend those evenings exploring by land and by water in Glacier, and after having your heart's fill of Glacier National Park, you reboard the Empire Builder train to continue west to Seattle. That train route follows the, through the northern Cascades, going westward and arriving to Seattle for a two-night stay and a chance to explore this wonderful urban destination. We include site views there, a hop-on, hop-off tour to get you around to all the major areas and attractions like Pikes Place and the waterfront and such. 
as well as admissions of the Space Needle. You can go up to the top of the tower and get some amazing views of Elliott Bay and the city and distant Mount Rainier. And also admission to a really unique and beautiful exhibit called Chihuly Garden and Glass, which is a combination of garden and glass sculpture sanctuary. I recently had a passenger who visited Seattle tell me that this was the single highlight of their trip to Seattle. And they would, they would go back specifically to see this one exhibit again. It's absolutely gorgeous. And from that point on, after your two-night stay, folks, you're free to head home by whichever means you've arranged, whether it's by train, flight, or some other method. That's our Glacier National Park Express itinerary, folks. It's a very popular one, back again for 2017. Now, I'll also mention an important note. We had talked about the ability to be flexible and customize trips. If for some reason one of these itineraries isn't a perfect fit for you, maybe you need more time at a destination, maybe less, maybe a slightly varied version of what we're doing here, this is only scratching the surface of what we already offer for packages, folks. So when you call in or you go online and you're looking at uh, speaking with one of our vacation consultants or shopping our destinations, realize we probably have something that does fit you perfectly if it's not these particular itineraries. And if we don't, we can certainly go ahead and customize to make the trip exactly the way you'd like it to be. We'd be happy to do so. So bear that in mind as we go through these folks. Now another returning favorite for 2017 is our Grand Canyon Discovery itinerary taking in the departure from Chicago and some of the best Southwest sightseeing opportunities they have, including, of course, the highlight of this trip, the Grand Canyon. You begin with a couple of nights of sightseeing in Chicago. We talked about how wonderful that destination is to spend some time in. It's also a great jumping off point for any trip westward as it is Amtrak's hub to the western United States. So you'll explore Chicago for a couple of evenings. Then you'll hop on Amtrak's Southwest Chief train to head overnight down to the American Southwest. This is another beautiful sightseeing journey, taking in the best of the Great Plains with those big skies and waving fields of wheat and grain, down into the deserts of the Southwest, and arriving for a two-night stay in Santa Fe. Santa Fe is a great New Mexico City, folks. It sort of holds a lot of the feel and atmosphere of those earlier frontier and western days, whether it's from its architecture to its atmosphere to its quaint shops. There's a variety of Native American artifacts and uh, goods that you can purchase in the shopping there. We include a sightseeing tour that takes in the unique history and culture of this town. It's really a fun place to start your Southwest experience and a really unique destination, unlike so many others uh, you could do in a journey across Western America. So you spend a couple evenings sightseeing in this beautiful town, and then you reboard Amtrak to head west to Williams. Now, Williams is an interesting destination, folks. It's sort of a quaint little Route 66 town that's also the jumping off point for any train journey to the Grand Canyon itself, full of little shops, full of kitschy goods and Americana, diners, just a fun little place with its own beautiful scenery, the uh, Bill Williams Mountains that are bordering the northern edge of town. You'll spend one quick evening there, and the next morning, get up. We do breakfast for you right there at your hotel. You actually, after breakfast, there's a Wild West show you can go enjoy, particularly popular with families, but with anyone really. And then you board the Grand Canyon Railway for your journey right up to the south rim of the canyon, folks. And I love the Grand Canyon Railway. It's a really, it's a different experience than Amtrak. Grand Canyon Railway is more of a classic train journey. It's a two-hour trip up through some beautiful countryside in and of itself. It travels through one of the most expansive stretches of Ponderosa Pine Forest found anywhere in North America. Uh, some beautiful views from the train itself as you're riding up. We start all of our bookings in coach class, which is a very comfortable way to travel up to the south rim of the canyon. But I highly encourage you, whether you're booking online or speaking to one of our vacation consultants by phone, to also inquire about upgrades on the Grand Canyon Railway. They offer some really fun and unique experiences in terms of upgraded classes, whether it's first class with some elevated seating arrangements, uh, beverage service and snack service on board. Uh, to the luxury parlor class, which sort of reminds me of an old Pullman car from the days in terms of the way it's decorated and the comfortable upholstery. There's even a viewing area on the back of the train you can experience. To the luxury dome and luxury parlor dome classes, where you actually get a chance to not only experience that extra level of luxury and service, but some amazing views from the dome area on the car. So you take this beautiful train journey right up to the south rim of the canyon, folks. And again, this experience cannot be more convenient. You get off, the train gets off right there at the south rim, and your sightseeing tour picks you up right from the depot and whisks you off all around the south rim for a chance to see some of the most amazing scenery in all of America, folks. It's funny because this is a beautiful picture, but pictures really don't do the Grand Canyon justice. You have to be there to truly appreciate the massive 
and magnificent beauty that is the Grand Canyon National Park. Your guides do a great job too. The tour you're taking will bring you some of the best vantage points for viewing the canyon. The guides themselves are well versed in the area. They know the geology of the park and its early formation. They can speak about the folklore and the cultures of the Hopi and Native tribes that once inhabited the area, the elk and other wildlife. They really know a ton about the park and they make it a great experience for you. And of course, after your tour, you're staying right there at the South Rim for one evening in your hotel. And again, very convenient. The minute you headed out on your tour and you Stop at the depot at the South Room. Your luggage was whisked over to your hotel for the evening. It's already there waiting for you. That next morning, I encourage you to get up early and maybe watch a desert sunrise over the canyon. You have a free morning and early afternoon to explore the South Room to your heart's content. Before that afternoon, we transport you overland to Flagstaff, Arizona. Flagstaff's a fun town. It's a little old Route 66 town in and of itself, situated right on the old route. But really, you stay in Flagstaff is all about exploring Sedona, one of the other beautiful natural wonders of the Southwest with its red rock formations, its scrubby little creeks and fields. There's a host of beautiful outdoor sightseeing experiences to be had in Sedona. While you're there, we pick you up right from your hotel, bring you out to Sedona Valley with an expert guide, you get a chance to travel by Jeep through this wonderful region. They drop you right back at your hotel at the end, folks. After two nights in Flagstaff, you'll either fly home, or if we've added train for you, you'll head home that way. It's a beautiful journey, again, folks, through some of the best highlights of the Southwest. That's our Grand Canyon Discovery itinerary. Now, I'm very excited to be able to talk about our next package, which is our Grand National Parks with Yellowstone, Yosemite, and Grand Canyon. This is new for 2017, and already the hottest independent journey that we're offering for next year. One of the key features of this trip sort of like our Northern National Parks escorted, but on an independent basis, is a chance to explore three national parks in one beautiful sightseeing train journey. Those are Yellowstone, Yosemite, and Grand Canyon. Now this trip begins in Chicago. You don't actually have hotel nights in Chicago, although we can certainly customize and add them if that's more convenient for you. But really it begins with the departure from Chicago on Amtrak. You travel overnight heading west on one of the most beautiful scenic journeys in the train system for Amtrak, and that is the California Zephyr Route. The California Zephyr runs between Chicago and San Francisco and takes in a little bit of everything you might want to see by train in North America. Whether it's the Midwest with wide open plains and high plains, the Rocky Mountains in Colorado, the rocky areas and salt flats as you pass through Utah, the deserts of Nevada, the Sierra Nevada Mountains in California, Really, you're going to see everything there is to see outdoors simply out the windows of your train, never mind the wonderful destinations you're going to experience along the way. So you travel overnight on the Zephyr, and you stop for one evening in Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City is a great town. It's a very quick visit. You're in there. You rest up for one evening. The next morning, we show you cross-country to Yellowstone National Park. That journey goes cross-country through the forests and foothills and mountains and drops you for a two-night stay in Yellowstone. We talked about all the beautiful things there are to see in Yellowstone, the wildlife, the landscapes, the geothermal features. The tour we have included will give you a chance to experience all of those. Afterwards, we shuttle you back to Salt Lake City. We have a day room waiting there. It's an evening departure on the train, so you have a hotel room for the afternoon. You can drop off your luggage. You can relax there. You can head back out of the town to go see Temple Square or one of the other features in the area, maybe grab a quick dinner. And that night, you'll reboard the California Zephyr to head west overnight to the West Coast. You'll arrive to San Francisco in the afternoon. You have a chance to explore there that evening. But really, San Francisco is a base for you to explore your next national park, and that is Yosemite National Park. So you'll spend one night there exploring San Francisco. The next day, you'll pick your up from your hotel to travel east to this wonderful outdoor destination. I love this trip too, folks, because after you leave San Francisco, before you get to Yosemite, you travel through the agricultural heartland of California. So going past some amazing almond groves, vineyards, a little bit of everything on the way to the mount mountains themselves in the park. You have the whole afternoon there to explore national parks, uh, Yellowstone, I'm sorry, Yosemite National Park, whether it's the Rocky Mountains, its wide open meadows, its own forests, its rocky creeks and streams. Maybe stop at the historic Awani Hotel if you choose to get some lunch there. Maybe do a little hiking. Maybe just sit back and enjoy the fresh air and spot wildlife. It's a wonderful experience, folks. 
that evening we bring you back to San Francisco for one more night before heading south. Now, after you leave San Francisco to continue your journey, you travel south on the Coast Star Line, another scenic train route across America, in this case the West Coast. The southern half of the Coast Starlight hugs the California coastline down into Los Angeles and provides some amazing scenery. Whether it's the hills and mountains off to the left side of the train as a journey south, or the vast Pacific Ocean off to the right with its cliffs and rocky coastline and beautiful waves, it's a beautiful journey, folks. Keep your camera handy for the sights you're going to see along the way. Then you stop in Los Angeles for one evening. The next day you'll be heading out to your next national park, but that day in Los Angeles, after you rest up, is free for you to go out and explore. We include a hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour to bring you to places like the Chinese Theater and the Walk of Fame and all these other Hollywood areas that you're going to want to spend some time exploring. And then in the evening you reboard the train, heading east to Grand Canyon National Park. It's a quick overnight journey that brings you right into Williams the next morning. You're not actually staying in Williams, though, that night. You're going to actually get on... I'm sorry, get off quick. There's actually an area where you can go freshen up, have breakfast. You'll have slept on the train, of course, that night. Then you board the Grand Canyon Railway for that journey we had just talked about right up to the south rim of the canyon. You spend an evening there. You have that same free time to explore after your tour. And then whereas the other itinerary we had looked at, you transfer to Flagstaff. This one will have you on the return trip back to Williams on the Grand Canyon Railway. That can be fun, too, because the return trip offers an experience you don't see on the one-way version. Uh, some of the gentlemen from the Wild West show that I had talked about actually staged a quote-unquote fake train robbery on the train. Southwest flavor, they board the train and hold guests up for tips and try to make the train ride back a little fun as well. You stop, have dinner there, spend one night in Williams at the Grand Canyon Railway Hotel, maybe go out and explore that little Southwest Route 66 town a little bit more. And the next morning you get on early and board the Amtrak train to head back up to Chicago. Again, some beautiful views from the train. You'll watch the sunrise come up over the desert as you're on board heading to Chicago. Travel overnight and arrive the next day having completed your itinerary in Chicago. And again, does not include any nights in that city, but we can certainly add them for you if that makes the trip more convenient, folks. That's our Grand National Parks with Yellowstone, Yosemite, and Grand Canyon itinerary. Again, the most popular, currently the most popular new itinerary for 2017. Now, one thing I'm really excited about is this Grand National Park series also offers two other chances to see three national parks in combination on an independent basis rather than escorted trips. One is our Grand National Parks with Grand Canyon, Yosemite, and Glacier National Park. The other is our Grand National Parks with Yellowstone, Yosemite, and Glacier National Park. So whatever the combination is of those four most national parks, the most popular national parks you want to do, we can do any three of them on one of these, par one of these packages in the Grand National Parks Experience Series. Now, for those of you who are really most excited about the sightseeing opportunities and the experience of riding the train, you may be interested in our most popular journey from last year, and that was our Northern Rail Experience Package. Similar to the Grand National Parks Series, it begins in Chicago, but does not necessarily include a stay at a hotel there. And again, flexibility means we can add that for you with ease or add train from some other point to start your journey passing through Chicago. Again, so many opportunities to customize the trip or to make it begin in any of the hundreds of Amtrak stations that may be closest to you. You'll depart out from Chicago heading westbound for a two-night journey across the northern United States. And we talked about how beautiful that countryside is between the lakes and the mountains. You'll have, chan have a chance to experience the onboard train ride and to view all that wonderful scenery from the convenience of your seat and coach or your private room on board or the viewing cars, which you have the flexibility to enjoy at your own pace. We'll talk about them again in a little bit before you reach Seattle. And again, the scenery and the experience of what these packages are really all about, particularly the Northern Rail experience, which is so focused on the joy of traveling by Amtrak. Whether it's taking in breathtaking scenes, giant train trestles that you're going to travel across, giving you some amazing views as the Gasman Cooley trestle you travel across on the Empire Builder route or just the enjoyment of traveling on board, whether it's enjoying fine dining or good company, the comfort of your own private space. It's a really enjoyable way to travel, folks, and the Northern Rail experience really maximizes that potential. And again, breathtaking views of some places that no car journey, no travel by plane is ever going to give you a chance to explore. So you travel the Northern Rail experience west of Seattle for one night, 
do a little sightseeing in that destination before boarding the Coast Starlight. And this is the northern half of the Coast Starlight, which is beautiful in its own regard. The northern half of the Coast Starlight, which runs between Seattle and your stay in San Francisco, travels through some great Pacific Northwest scenery. So huge expanses of pine forest, rolling hills and mountains, rocky rivers and creeks. It's a beautiful cross-country journey down into San Francisco. Spend a few nights in San Francisco exploring, whether it's doing the sightseeing, uh, cruise of San Francisco Bay, or the day trip we had to go out to the Redwoods and Muir Woods and down to the little quaint seaside town of Sausalito from some sightseeing. You'll really enjoy your stay in San Francisco. And then the last leg of your journey is departing out of San Francisco on the California Zephyr heading east back to Chicago. And again, traveling across that wide variety of landscapes only available for view from the Zephyr itself. That's those deserts, the salt flats, the rocky mountains, the Great Plains, really a taste of everything in North America. It's our northern national, I'm sorry, our northern railway folks, extremely popular for 2016 and no doubt to be again in 2017. Another new package that we're really excited to be able to offer you is our Grand Music Cities of America Independent Journey. Grand Music Cities, as I mentioned, is brand new and offers the, a chance to experience Nashville. This is the first time we've offered Nashville on an independent basis for Amtrak Vacations. And where the journey begins is with a two-night stay in Chicago. We've talked about what a great city that is to explore. You have a chance to check out those popular attractions, the architecture, the museums, do a little shopping. Now, one of the things that's fun that we include for Grand Music Cities in Chicago is a chance to get a music-oriented view of the city. So we actually include for you a very popular crime tour of Chicago. Now, this itinerary, as you realize, focuses on cities with a great historical musical association or current musical association, as they're all very vibrant music cities today. Chicago with its electric blues scene down to now, but historically more associated with the jazz era, with the Roaring Twenties, and Prohibition. And that crime tour gives you a chance to experience Chicago through the lens of the jazz era in the Roaring Twenties Prohibition era. So they give you a great background of the city, some of its history, where the best jazz clubs were, where the speakeasies were. It's a really unique look at the city. So after exploring Chicago for a couple nights, you hop on the train. In this case, you're traveling south on the city of New Orleans, a very famous train route, actually made famous in an Arlo Guthrie song by the same name. So again, a wonderful musical journey. You travel overnight in the city of New Orleans, reaching Memphis, Tennessee, the next day. You arrive in the morning, so you have a chance to go over, drop your luggage off to your hotel, and really you can begin exploring Memphis right away that day. Day one is really free for you. So if you want to go out and visit Beale Street or just sit back and get some good barbecue at a great restaurant, explore the city at your own pace day one. Next day, we really pick you up to begin your most thorough experience of Memphis. The tour we include takes you not only some great music areas of the city for background places like Beale Street, but also other popular areas like the Peabody Hotel. And then they whisk you out to the most musical-oriented experience we can offer in Memphis, and that's a visit to Graceland. Having been there, folks, I can tell you there is no more, more uh, impressive destination within Memphis than visiting the mansion of the king himself, Elvis Presley. The tour is spectacular. They bring you all through the mansion. It's beautifully, beautifully preserved in the same spirit and time it was when Elvis passed away in the 70s. Elvis himself is actually buried there along with his family in the Memorial Garden. Very great chance to stop and reflect on the life of this amazing man. All that is included as part of your stay in Memphis. And of course, plenty of free time. So if you want to head over to the uh, Stax Museum or do any number of other popular attractions in the area, you certainly can. A number of activities that might interest you are certainly things we can customize as well. If you want to visit the Rock and Soul Museum or the Stax Museum or any a number of other attractions, be sure to check them out online. Or if you're calling in by phone, ask your vacation consultant about opportunities to experience more while you're in Memphis. So after your couple nights in Memphis, we get you out to Nashville. We have a rental car included for you with a short journey cross-country to Nashville, Tennessee. It's a pretty ride too, folks. It goes over the Cumberland River, passes these big cotton fields along the way actually goes past historic Jackson, Tennessee that Johnny Cash made famous in one of his songs. You arrive to Nashville for three nights. There's probably no more musical-oriented city in America than Nashville, Tennessee. The city is known as Music City, USA. It's the home of country music and the country music industry, and has been for a long time. It also hosts the Grand Ole Opry, one of the longest-running live musical performances anywhere in the world. 
still broadcast live by radio to this day. You actually have a chance. We include tickets for you, so you have a chance to actually experience the Grand Ole Opry live. It's fun, too, because they never actually have the same lineup any night. It's always going to be a, a variety of artists, some up-and-comers, some you know, long-time industry favorites, some people who are just hot on the charts today. It's a really fun experience, folks. You get a chance to go out and experience some excellent live music. We include all the major sightseeing for you, from City Tour to admission to the Country Music Hall of Fame to admission to the Ryman Auditorium, where the Grand Old Opry was housed for so many years, and to this day is still known as the Mother Church of Country Music. Really, you get a chance to experience everything. And of course, again, plenty of free time. Head down to Honky Tonk Row and spend some time in the Honky Tonks and bars and famous places like Tootsie's Orchid Lounge, where so many country music stars have been discovered. And after exploring Nashville, you take that quick ride across country to drop your rental car off back in Memphis. Spend one quick evening there, rest up, and the next morning reboard the City of New Orleans train bound for the City of New Orleans itself. New Orleans is an amazing destination, folks, full of diverse experiences. Live music is everywhere from the bars to just spending time in Jackson Square where the live bands are playing. One of the experiences we include that is probably my favorite in all of the city of New Orleans is brunch at the Court of the Two Sisters. Court of the Two Sisters is this classic French Quarter restaurant. It's basically this courtyard it's located in the French Quarter. It's hidden away. Uh, when you look at the front of the restaurant, you'd never imagine what's behind it. You go back there, and the, it just smells. The atmosphere is full of garden scents and flowers. Uh, and this brunch also includes a live jazz music experience. And these are some of the best jazz musicians in the city, folks. So a great uh, chance to experience Creole cooking and the live music that the city is so famous for. Of course, we include a city tour, so you get to experience the best of New Orleans beyond just the musical aspects. And plenty of free time to explore the Garden District or take a riverboat cruise. Again, we have so many options we can use to customize your trip, as well as plenty of free time for you to just explore on your own. These are some beautiful cities, folks. Nashville, the Cumberland River, everything is centered downtown. Honky Tonk Row is an experience in and of itself. It's all the historic associations and music of New Orleans. You see there the cathedral right in front of Jackson Square. That's been hours just enjoying the live music, the people in that area or grabbing a famous beignet over at Cafe Du Monde. This is a wonderful trip, folks. Grand Music Cities of America, a journey through the heartland of the U.S. to some of the best musical destinations you could want to explore. Now, if national parks or music experiences are not quite what you're looking for, Great Cities of the Northeast, one of our new 2017 packages, may be exactly what you had in mind. Great Cities of the Northeast takes in some of the best cities in America and some of the most historical. It begins with a two-night stay in Boston, Massachusetts. Of course, this is the cradle of the American Revolution and Independence. The sightseeing opportunities we include give you a chance to check out places like Boston Common, the Public Gardens, Faneuil Hall. But you have plenty of free time to head over to Newbury Street for some shopping or maybe spend some time enjoying Italian dining in the North End. Really, it's up to you folks. So you'll explore Boston for a couple evenings, really get a chance to experience the city then hop on Amtrak to head south to New York City. It's a pretty train journey, too. It takes in the best of New England scenery as it winds, winds its way through Massachusetts and Connecticut and on down into New York itself. We have hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour opportunities included in New York for you, so you can take in all the popular attractions. You can head off to Times Square. You can go down to Soho. Uh, you can get off to Washington Square. You can really do just about anything you would like to see and get back on at your convenience to continue the tour. We also have included for you the ferry service out to the Statue of Liberty in Ellis Island, admission to the Empire State Building. So many fun things to see and do in New York while you're there, folks. After your two nights of exploring the Big Apple, you hop back on Amtrak to travel just a little further south to Philadelphia for an evening. You can arrive nice and early and begin exploring right away. We include sightseeing opportunities for you, such as the brand new Museum of the American Revolution. This is the first of its kind in the United States, folks. It just opens in April of 2017. And as I mentioned, it is the only museum in America actually dedicated exclusively to the birth of this country during the American Revolution. So you'll have a first crack at exploring this wonderful new uh, attraction in Philadelphia. Plenty of free time to you to head over to Reading Market and grab yourself a cheesesteak or head down to see the Liberty Bell or anything else you might want to do while you're in Philly. And the journey wraps up with a short Amtrak experience on over to Washington, D.C. We have hop-on, hop-off tours included here again, folks, to bring you around to all the major places in D.C. you want to explore. 
You can hop off and spend time at the Smithsonian's, on the Mall, the Lincoln Memorial, the Washington Monument, Capitol Building, the White House, although tours in the White House, I highly recommend you book those early as they are not easy to get. And the wonderful thing about DC2 is so much in the city comes free of charge because it's all open to the public. The Smithsonian's, Library of Congress, uh, National Archives, there's a host of experiences to be had right at your fingertips. To explore DC for a couple evenings before wrapping up your trip with a train home, a flight home, or wherever you may be headed, folks. That's Great Cities of the Northeast, brand new for 2017. Now, we've talked a couple times about how we can really make the train trips come from anywhere in the Amtrak system if you'd like us to customize with added rail. Just so you know, too, while you're shopping online or speaking to one of our vacations consultants, we already have a number of these packages built round trip from some of the most popular stations on the Amtrak system. Currently, we already offer round trip pricing from New York City, Boston, San Francisco, Washington, D.C., Chicago, Seattle, Los Angeles, and Philadelphia already ready to go, folks. We're also going to be adding for this year Portland, Sacramento, Denver, Milwaukee, Dallas, Atlanta, Albany, and Orlando as prepackaged, prepiced round trip itineraries for you. So be sure to inquire about those. But again, if you don't see your home destination or your nearest Amtrak stop on this list, be sure to inquire because we can certainly customize to make that happen for you. And one last reminder as we're wrapping up our discussion about 2017 packages, folks, is remember again, the journey on Amtrak is as much a part of the vacation as the destinations you're experiencing. It's all about beautiful scenery you're going to see outside the train, but it's also about the comfort level and the experience of being on board an Amtrak train. So I'd like to take a couple minutes just to talk about what that's like and the ways you can travel in any of these packages. All of our vacation itineraries are based in coach accommodations, notable exception being the escorted trips where you're going to be booked into rooms from the beginning. Coach is the most common and popular way for anyone to travel on an Amtrak vacations journey or package. Now, coach is unlike coach on an airplane. Now, I think we're so used to being crammed into these tiny little seats or up against a whole bunch of other people in a small little compartment. Coach accommodations are more like business class on an airline. They're roomy. There's tons of leg room. There's big viewing windows. You don't have a little the ceiling right you know, inches from your top of your head. You don't feel confined in any way. More importantly, you're not confined to your coach seat. If you want to get down and wander down to the viewing areas in the observation car, or head down to the snack car to grab a quick drink or a bite to eat, or anything of the kind. You're free to roam the train and come back to your coach seat at any time. Even for onboard overnight journeys, most passengers actually stay in coach. The seat reclines back about 45 degrees, leg rest comes up, and you can kick back and sleep comfortably on board. Now, for those of you interested in private accommodations on the train, the first level of private room is our roomette. Roomettes are a private sleeping accommodation for up to two people. During the day, you have your two comfortable seats in there with a great viewing window, room for your luggage. And then in the evening, your car attendant will come down and make up your sleeping apartment for the evening. They'll bring down the upper and lower beds, put in the bedding for you, and make it very comfortable for your overnight journey. Two other great features of traveling in the roomette. One, all meals that take place on board the train while you're traveling in a roomette are included in the price of your ticket. So, not only do you have access to the snack car, but you'll have reservations in the dining car for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and any other meals on board. And we'll talk about the quality of that meal in just a second. Second big benefit of traveling in a remet is unlike coach, coach passengers have access to a washroom. So in overnight journeys, you have a place to freshen up a little bit, but remet passengers actually have access to a shared but private bathroom and shower facility in their car for remet passengers alone. So full-size shower and bathroom available to you. Now, the next level of private sleeping accommodation is the bedroom. Very, very similar to the roomette. The primary difference between a bedroom and a roomette, folks, is that instead of the shared but private shower and bathroom facilities in the car for roomette passengers, bedroom passengers have a shower and bathroom facility in their own compartment that's for their use alone. No matter which of these you choose, folks, they're a great and comfortable way to sleep on board the train. If coach isn't quite what you're thinking, you want a private room, I can recommend either of these as a very comfortable and relaxing way to journey. We also talked about roaming the train and spending some time in the observation car. You get a chance to glimpse that a little bit here with its great big viewing windows, more than floor to ceiling. These are open to anybody on the train, so as long as there's an open seat, you can wander down, grab a spot, read a book, talk to some other travelers and get to know them, enjoy a snack, or just sit back and enjoy the amazing views, folks. 
dining on the train, I alluded to, uh, having reservations in the car. I got to tell you, dining on the train, folks, very, very different than what you've experienced on an airplane. We're talking about real meals, steak dinners, pasta dishes, giant salads. Or if you're looking for something a little more pedestrian, you can do some great sandwiches and burgers. Uh, for those sweet tooths out there, we actually have some amazing desserts on board, all prepared by a chef on board the train there with you. You're dining on Lidden. You have a waiter. It's a full-service restaurant that just happens to roll along on the train, folks. So in sum, let me thank everybody again for taking the time to go through some of our 2017 packages. I'm very excited that we had a chance to share them and talk a little bit about the experience on board. I hope you'll be in touch soon to book your next vacation in 2017 with us. And with that in mind, I'm going to pass it over to Jackie to give her a chance to talk about how you can do that. Thank you so much for all that great information, Andy. And just a reminder, everyone, that is just a small sample of some of the packages that we have. And really, if you want to view everything, you should go online to AmtrakVacations.com. You can click right on our Destinations tab there to see everywhere that we travel to and all the possibilities that you have. So how do you book one of these great rail vacations? Well, there's a couple different ways. You can certainly book online at EmtraxVacations.com. You can give us a call and talk to one of our vacation specialists. They can help you out if you need to customize anything or if you're looking to add the train from your local station there. You can also reach out to your local travel agent. Now, I do want to make sure that I let you know about some of our great everyday discounts on the Amtrak Rail portion of your trip. There's one for anyone a part of Veterans Advantage. There's a discount for active military and their family. There's a senior discount for anyone age 62 or older, a AAA discount. And children on Amtrak are ages 2 to 12, and they receive 50% off the adult rail fare. But the discount that I'm really excited to let you all know about today is one exclusively for all of you for taking the time and joining us today. And that's to save $300 per couple on some of our 2017 independent rail vacations. And that promo code is webinar A U G. But don't wait to book. That discount is only good for the next two weeks until September 14th. You will see some early booking discounts that we do have online for $200. But keep in mind, just for joining us today, we're giving you an additional $100 off per couple there. Now, I know that's a lot of information that we've given you all today. So there is a handout right on the right-hand side of your screen. So you can certainly click on that there, and that'll have all the info on those promos, some of the packages that we talked about. And I do see a few questions that came in during this presentation. So we do have a little bit of time. So certainly, if anyone has any questions at all, please feel free to type those right into your questions box. Now, before we go ahead and get to those questions, I do want to make sure to announce our lucky $100 Amtrak Vacations gift certificate winner. And that winner is Mark Ford. So congratulations, Mark. You now have $100 to put towards your next applications trip. So we'll be sending that out to you, so keep an eye out for that. So let's get to some of those great questions. So we have one from Robert. Can you extend days in the parks? It's a great question, Robert. The answer is yes. Uh, the beauty of these itineraries is that, as we had kind of mentioned, they're so customizable. You know, when you're online or you're speaking with a vacation consultant here at Amtrak Vacations, you let them know exactly what you're looking for in itinerary. Maybe you want to extend out Glacier by a day or two and go do some hiking or spend an extra afternoon exploring Yellowstone or really any destination, regardless whether it's a national park or a major urban destination, we'd be happy to extend it for you. I'll say this too, with the national parks and some of our most popular destinations, but particularly the national parks, this year was a record year for the national parks in terms of attendance and next year is looking like it's going to be even more. So I highly recommend for any of these, particularly if you're looking to do a longer or extended stay there, go ahead and call in or, or get online early and go ahead and book with us just because we want to make sure we get to that space and it's going to be a very, very busy season out there. So thank you. We have a question from Scott. Are 2017 catalogs available now? 
So I'll actually jump in and answer this one for you, Scott. So right now our marketing team is actually finalizing our 2017 brochures. So those will be available soon. But definitely to check out any of our 2017 packages, those are all available online. You can go right at amtrackvacations.com and check out all those packages that we have there. So we have a question from Mark. How does pricing, oh, let's see here, just lost that one. How does pricing a custom national park tour compare to a package tour of similar length? It's a great question. So one of the things I always recommend is we put the best value possible into a package that we, we design here with you in mind. So for example, generally speaking, you get the best value out of shopping one of our existing packages, probably a little bit more over customizing a package. Now, making adjustments or adding extra nights, not a problem. And certainly if you have a customized scenery in mind, we're happy to do it. But I will definitely say the best value is generally to be found in our packaged itineraries. Awesome. We have a question from Scott. Can Amtrak connect with Via Rail in Canada? I love this question. And the answer is absolutely yes. In fact, we offer a number of vacation packages that incorporate both Amtrak and Amtrak Vacations and Via Rail. In fact, we offer Amtrak Vacations packages not only all over the United States, but all over Canada as well, to places like Vancouver, the Canadian Rockies, Montreal, Quebec City, Toronto, Niagara Falls. I mean, really, just about any popular destination you want to experience, you can experience from Amtrak Vacations and in combination with Via Rail. We offer both. Perfect. And I think you also just answered Wilma's question asking about trans-Canadian routes. So yes, we certainly do have those two for you, Wilma. And we have a question from Grace. If we took Boston, New York, Philly tour, can I fly back or take Amtrak back to Los Angeles directly? A absolutely. If you want to, uh, you know, if you rather fly to and from the beginning of an itinerary, absolutely you can. Uh, book your flights, make sure they line up with the trip we're booking for you, but yeah, that's very, very common. And for those of you who prefer doing the train round trip experience, you know, it doesn't hurt to mention either, we could certainly make it a round trip journey from any point like that as well. We have a question from Leslie asking about service dogs. Yes, so anybody who has a documented service animal, if you need assistance from a, from a, a Animal companion like that, a true service animal, absolutely. The Amtrak does allow them to make sure, of course, you have proper documentation, and they'll go over that with you when we book your trip. Uh, one exception to that is comfort animals are generally exempted from the service animal guidelines. So uh, they'll usually ask you exactly what the service is on that, but absolutely, you can certainly make that happen. We have a question from Caitlin. I'm thinking about traveling in May. Do I have to pay for the full trip now? It's a great question. If you're booking one of our Amtrak Vacations packages, final payment is due 60 days prior to the departure itself. So if you're looking at traveling in May and booking now, no problem. They'll have you take a small deposit now to hold your spot for you, and final payment would come due at some point in March, 60 days prior to your trip. Awesome. And we have a question from Andrew. Uh, let's see here. Can NARP discounts be applied to packages? It's a great question. Anybody who is a senior, we do have an existing senior discount that would apply for any passengers on the Amtrak rail portion of your trip, and we'd be happy to go over those details with you and make sure you take advantage of it. Awesome. So I want to say thank you so much, Andy, again for joining us today to talk all about these packages here that we have for 2017. And thank you to everyone who's joined us today. I hope you all enjoyed the presentation. Again, to book any of these rail vacation packages you heard about today or any of our trips here, you can give us a call at 1-800-AMTRAK2. That's 1-800-268-7252. You can also book any of these packages through your local travel agent. So thank you so much, everyone, and hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care.